And as today's fine dining, we put a pepper rami in it. Maybe we can see something, maybe not. Hi everybody, we are today in Vancouver again and today we are going up the Curve Ridge for a summit wild camp on top of Bouquet et Tiffmore. Right now we are at the water slab. Yeah, a little water is running down. Um, the weather is mediocre. Tonight you should get like 4 degrees. 20% um, for rain. And we are now heading just around the water slab, then up a speed bit and to the entrance of the Curve Ridge. So, Let's continue. In the forecast for the wind is around 40 to 50 kilometers per hour. So I decided they take a BB bag with me. So I don't have to hustle around with a tent or anything. It's just lay in and be happy. <laughs> Even so it weighs more my BB bag than my self-built tent, but I don't know. Sleeping underneath the stars has also something. <laughs> and the curved ridge is like the most popular scramble in Glencoe. And it's rated between two and three. So, yeah, it's all right. I did it before um, with a crowberry tower. I will link you the video up in the description if you want to see the full path. Yeah, I get fairly often asked from my friends um, which one is my favorite scramble in Glencoe and I really need to say um, that the curved ridge is definitely up to it when it's not so busy but it's usually um, rather busy when you go on a nice day to the usual times and from the difficulty it is not I think it's the most difficult one I've done. But it's um, from the scenery, I think for sure um, the best. You can't get it better than this one. It's a bit steepish at the beginning, but really good holes throughout. Just need to take your time and have a look. So and that's us now on the start. It's like the beginning and the beginning is yeah almost the steepest bit. And we are now just sailing up here which is by far not as steep. But back to the question, um, which one is, from my opinion, the most difficult one so far? Um, it was for me the dorsal arid. Probably, and after the, the dorsal red, I would say the Anoch Igar, um, because I had a big rucksack like today, and the stone was really wet, so it was really slippy. And I was walking like Bambi, um, so. And I believe the curved ridge is also good to walk um, when it's wet. It's like so excellent steps. Yes, the rock is pretty smooth, but um, nice holes, good steps, really just a joy. And I think over here, 
this is already where the crux is. So, and we are now at the crux. I put you this time probably on the helmet because with a heavier rucksack, it's just safer. As mentioned last time, it's better when we go out here. So. And that was a crux. So. It's just such a lovely scramble. It's Unbelievable, beautiful here. <laughs> And here is now where you can decide to go right way and around with the Crowberry Tower or here at the front. But I will go um, to the rear and then have a look how windy it is and probably I just take the rucksack off and go up or straight to the bookie in a shelter. <laughs> it's just so nice to be out of the wind. <laughs> Wonder how it will be on top in the night. Kind of a stupid idea. It sounds always so good in mind, but then the execution. <laughs> Just a lovely squee up. So. Should we go short up? Yeah. Okay. Let's put short the stuff down. And then we continue. Absolutely beautiful. Benevis in the Marmors, Blackwater Reservoir, Bina Crochet, and the vast Ranoch Moor with the King House Hotel here. 
sind Kreis, wir sind massive North Face, Runner Kreis, Direction Glen Etif, and here is the Buki. I love it so much, yeah. It's really. I'm here again, so lucky that you know people. So I will head now down, get my stuff, and then we we head up. He reached the top of the Buki. Great hike. Curved ridge is really a stunner. So I think we should go down um, a bit on the other side. I saw there a spot which was previously used already for a bee work. And now it's our time to use it. And this one looks like the perfect spot. Yeah, you can almost forget um, how fresh it is when um, and there's no wind. I still brought my sick down jacket from Canada. With this one I walked by minus 47 degrees, like 30 kilometers with the snowshoes. I was never cold. It's good for here. Weighs not a lot. Um, is it worth the money? I don't know. I mean, it's a wrap jacket, but I paid for it um, with the exchange rate and pounds. I paid like 60 pounds for 60 pounds is a good jacket. Would I pay for it like 280 or 300? No, I don't think so. I don't. I'm not sure if there are alternatives to it. Anyway, I'm really happy with the jacket. And um, when you ever have the chance to live in Canada or go there for holiday, um, you can get really cheap stuff over there. It's pretty good. So, and the stuff what I'm using here is, is my military BV bag. I paid 25 euros for it. It's like a three layer Gore-Tex and I have the X-Lite in it. Um, everyone likes to sleep comfortable and particular warm and the Yeti 400 is a sleeping bag I use. Well, I can show it later. Um, right now we will have a rest and then have a look. Yeah, just wandering a bit around and have a look. Um, just outstanding, honestly. So, I will probably put you on a time lapse. And then I put my gloves on and I switch you then back later on. Um, when we make us something to eat. And for dinner for today, we have a chicken mushroom pasta. Yeah, time to eat something warm. Coffee for tomorrow. Yeah, I always carry the coffee with me, but um, <laughs> I don't even know when the last time when I drank coffee in the morning. I mean, I usually drink a coffee when I'm at home, but when I'm camping, I don't know. But water is also good, I think. It's, Less hustle in the weight. I'm a person who likes to get just on the go then in the morning. And tomorrow um, the forecast is that it should rain. Hopefully not tonight. And a BV bag with rain is kind of horrible uh, by this type of BV particular because it's then just laying on your head and the rain drops are tok tok tok. It's <laughs> I had it once in Germany and it was I didn't like that at all. It was kind of horrible. Prost! Ah, beautiful day. A good V scramble up the curved ridge. And now the view is alright, you know. At least the clouds are not hanging in, so this is good, I think. That's good. And usually we have a fresh breeze, so we have no midges, which is also a really rare thing in the last days when I was out. And as today is fine dining, we put a pepperami in it.
Mm. Good something warm. So I will eat now and let me have a look what we do. So you know, just putting the bits and box away before it's dark. Make everything ready. And then I will probably just um, sit a bit around, enjoy the fuse, and then probably early to bed. <laughs> Has changed the temperature so much that I put a bit more air in. So yeah, it's kind of fresh now like a few degrees the shoes I put it usually underneath as a pillow This is good. The jacket, obviously, I don't need to. Oh. The jacket I will just put somewhere down. Uh, the BB back. A bit bulky, but hey. Keeps it warm. So, I will now go to bed, um, sleep, and hey, unfortunately, no stars or anything. There was not really anything to see, but maybe we have luck tomorrow morning. I don't know. I've set the alarm for um, 5.45, sunrise is at 6.27. Maybe we can see something, maybe not. Oh. Exciting day, a really nice scramble. Just sitting outside, watching the cars passing by. The 82 um, is pretty busy. Um, good day. So, see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>